Hello, welcome to the porch. It's a summer time in the U.S. Is um, there are many uh, people up in in distress after the killing last week in Minnesota of a black man who was uh, asphyxiated by a policeman. Um, we are going to have to pray for a change in America, and that's what we need to think about. Um, but we need to also look at the roots of the anger, and part of it has to do with poverty and the stress of the pandemic, especially on our black uh, and minority communities here in America. Um, right now I've got a little booklet. It's called Give Us Today Our Daily Bread. And uh, this is by uh, Bread for the World. And I'm gonna share with you some thoughts from it you know this is our prayer and this is a quote from Mother Teresa your will be done on earth as in heaven uh, in Revelation 7 16 it says they will hunger no more prayer is not asking prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God at his disposition and listening to his voice in the depths of our hearts. That was said by Mother Teresa. I'll read it again. Prayer is not asking. Prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God at his disposition and listening to his voice in the depths of our hearts. Um, this uh, booklet comes with uh, daily verses, and I think it's good to go through all seven right now. Uh, because of the stress that we're under and we have to refocus the needs of what is the basic situation a lot of people are not having basic needs of safety food job right now and um, our national leader doesn't get it uh, so we need to pray here's the first day of prayer that would have been Sunday oh God I pray for all those around the world who struggle with hunger and suffer from malnutrition. Grant them strength and courage as they work to create a better life for themselves and their communities. May conflicts cease, crops flourish, and good governance grow. In the name of Jesus, who is the bread of life for the world, amen. Uh, readings from Lamentations 3, 22, verse 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Here's Monday's reading. Heavenly Father, I pray for the one in seven children in our country, that's the USA, who lives in a family that struggles to get enough to eat. That's even before pandemic. Grant patience and wisdom to parents who work so hard to see that their children have the food they need to grow and learn. Amen. Um, Bible verses from Psalms for that day. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to the cry of my supplication. Tuesday, that's today. Lord God, I pray for our president, members of Congress, and other elected leaders. May they be moved to make ending hunger in our country and around the world by 2030 a priority for our nation. Grant them clear minds and generous hearts to sustain and improve those programs that provide help and opportunity to so many people. In the name of Christ, who came not to be served, but to serve, amen. Romans 12, verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you may discern what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect. Wednesday. O oh God, look with compassion on the one in nine Americans who face hunger in this country. Preserve their dignity as they struggle to get enough to eat. May those looking for jobs find new opportunities to earn a living. May those who are unable to work be supported and sustained by their communities. Amen. 
Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. John 8, verse 12. Thursday. I give thanks for my church and all other churches that work together to end hunger. Bless the efforts of those organizations that offer relief in times of emergency, as well as those who support long-term development. <clears throat> May our witness to the gospel of your love and compassion shine ever more brightly. Amen. Uh, Psalm uh, 146, verses 5 through 7. Happy are those whose hope is in the Lord their God and who made heaven and earth who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. Friday. O Christ, you gave your life on the cross to overcome evil and injustice. May your abundant love inspire those who volunteer and work in food pantries and other feeding programs in my community. May they offer both kindness and respect to those who depend on the food they provide. Amen. Luke 1, verses 78 through 79. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Saturday. O oh God, may the spirit of the risen Christ inspire me to re rededicate myself to ending hunger in the world you created for us. Grant me boldness and courage as I seek to persuade our nation's leaders to change the policies and conditions that allow hunger to persist. I ask you to bless my prayers, my actions, and my giving. Amen. Galatians 2. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. Those were prayers and messages uh, written by uh, Bread, of the, Bread for the World. It's an organization I suggest you donate to. Um, you can visit. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I had that in the wrong place. You visit their website there. Breadorg backslash prayer um, to conclude I'll, I'll just read from uh, uh, Timothy and uh, if you are suffering or worried or just tired of injustices and, and hungry in other ways um, read Timothy uh, 2nd Timothy uh, chapter 4 verse 17 but the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength the Apostle Paul wrote that when he felt abandoned, he was in prison. It was probably his last letter. It was to Timothy. And he first complains about being abandoned by so many as he waited to see a Roman judge. But at the end, Paul says in verse 17, But the Lord stood at my side. God gave me strength so that I might preach the good news in its entirety to all the people to hear, and he rescued me from certain death. Uh, so be bold, but be prayerful each day. We're facing in America injustices uh, by police. We're facing injustices by presidents. We're facing uh, injustices by the head of the Senate. Um, we're facing injustices uh, um, of courts and we really need to have a better America as the weeks uh, unfold in 2020. We're pretty stressed out with people in the streets protesting at a time when there's a pandemic. That means they could be vulnerable. We're still, we have looters who come in after the protesters. Protesters uh, are quite legal in the United States, by the way. Don't get the protesters and looters mixed up. Uh, some of the looters we think are paid by uh, right-wing uh, monies 
or coordinated by people like Eric Prince. But we, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to take care and pray for those who actually protest. And uh, we pray that the injustice behind the protest will be worked on. It needs to be worked on uh, like the birthing of the world. All right. Uh, anyway, this is Kevin Stoda. Welcome to the Kevin Stoda channel. Thank you for letting me read from Bread for, Bread for the World's uh, uh, weekly prayer book. And um, remember to always pray. And daily prayer can end hunger. Other actions will be needed too. Uh, but allow yourself uh, to make a change. God bless you. This is Kevin Stoda from the Kevin Stoda channel. I hope you appreciate this and, and uh, practice the routines that are suggested here.